Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to the video. Now the truck sitting behind me today is a 2010 Ford F-150 that was absolutely abused for years on the farm and the word disaster doesn't even come close to describing this truck. Okay, well starting with the exterior and all I can say is that this truck is just beat up and incredibly dirty. I'm guessing it hasn't been washed by more than rain in years and there's even bullets stuck in the frozen mud on the running boards. The underside is coated in thick mud and basically every inch of this truck is going to need some serious attention, but that is nothing compared to the monumental disaster waiting inside. I've never seen anything quite like this before. From the thick caked on mud on the carpets to the door panels that look like they belong in a junkyard, it's no wonder the owner was doubting what I could do with this truck. There's also piles of dog hair in the back and some really gross stains in the seats. But just before we jump into one of the most mind-blowing and epic transformations you'll ever see, take a second and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I post a new video like this every week and if you've got the bell on, you'll get notified the moment they go live. Okay guys, well buckle up because this is going to be one of the biggest challenges that I have ever faced and I'm honestly very excited to see just how good I can get this truck looking today. So sit back, relax and enjoy the transformation. All right, well, getting started on the truck now, and obviously this is going to be an enormous job for me today, but I can tell you now that the transformation this truck makes is nothing short of incredible, and getting to watch the owner's reaction at the end of the video makes it that much better, so be sure to stick around until the end to catch that. starting in the wheel well now and as you can see there's quite a bit of mud in here as well as on the rest of the underside so this definitely slows down the pre-wash rinse today as I fully intend on getting every speck of mud off the truck and making this thing look as perfect as humanly possible today. Okay, starting on the back, and I figured I'd give you some background on the vehicle. So when the owner dropped it off, he said he recently purchased the truck dirt cheap from someone a couple hours out of town, who I guess had been using it as a farm and hunting truck. And I'm going to bet that since it was bought new in 2010, the interior hasn't been cleaned once. But anyways, the new owner picked it up and intends to use it as a work truck, but was obviously so disgusted with the truck, he wanted it cleaned up first. Although he did say that if I couldn't get it clean, he was going to buy a new interior for it. So that was enough for me. The challenge was accepted and there was no way I was letting that happen.
working my way around the vehicle now and some of you out there have maybe wondered if my details always go smooth or if there's issues sometimes. Well, I can tell you they don't always go smoothly and this truck is one of those times. The truck was dropped off the night before I started working on it and when I went to pull it into the garage this morning, it wouldn't start. I tried everything I could to get it going but had no luck and obviously I couldn't detail it out on the driveway when it's minus 30 out. So I ended up pulling it in with the winch on my quad, which I'm hoping is the first and last time I ever have to do that. But there is a happy ending here as I threw my battery charger on it overnight and it started right up the next day, so the owner was able to drive it home. Okay, starting on these dirty wheels now, and after spraying on some of my Detail Geek wheel and tire cleaner, I'll use a variety of brushes to agitate and remove any dirt, tire blooming, and brake dust from the wheels, nearly all of which are available on my website at detailgeekautocare.com, as is the wheel and tire cleaner, which you can also dilute down to 2 to 1 if your wheels don't happen to be quite as dirty as these ones are. Okay, starting on the floor mats and after brushing off the loose dirt and debris, you might notice that the driver's side mat here had dirt that was absolutely caked on, but after spraying on some carpet solution and hitting it with my green drill brush, it's no issue for the pressure washer to get that all blasted out. Hey Mitch, how's the detail going? It's going pretty good. 
What on earth are you doing? Oh, well, not too much. I was just looking up yoga videos online, but they're all too expensive. Mm, then I got hungry. Dude, you need to get honey. I, I have honey. <laughs> no, I mean honey. That little button at the top of your browser, you know, that thing that can save you money when you shop online? Huh? What do you mean? How's that work? Oh, dude, it's really simple. So Honey automatically searches for promo codes for you so that you don't have to, which is kind of perfect for you because, you know, you're a little bit cheap and a lot of bit lazy. Okay, let's say you've got a hankering for some pizza or some of those chocolate Timbits or beaver balls that you love so much. You just use Honey when you're ready to check out and it automatically searches for coupon codes to use. It is super easy to use and it works on tons of things you're already buying on tons of sites that you're already shopping. Like for instance, when I bought all that wire for out at the studio, I used Honey and I saved over a hundred bucks. Oh snap, that, that sounds really easy and fun. So what you're saying is I can use it when I buy my yoga videos and it can save me money. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. You just go to joinhoney.com slash detail geek. You can add it to your browser for free. It's literally that easy. Awesome. Thanks for the tip, man. You guys should do it too. Yeah, no problem, man. But can I get back to my detail now? The interior of this truck is a nightmare and it's gonna take me forever. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get back to work. Okay, well after unbolting the seats, I'll quickly get them all removed and just as I expected, it only gets worse with them out. There's a massive pile of dust under the back seats and under the front ones, well it's more dust and giant clumps of hair. Alright, well working my way around with the vacuum and it's time for this week's members question, which is very fitting for today's detail. It comes from Brianna and it's, have you ever had your truck break down? So the easy answer to that is no, thankfully neither of the trucks I've owned have ever broken down to the point of not being drivable, though with my old F-150 I had, I did have to have some repairs done on it, which put it out of commission for a few days, but Ruby has treated me well so far and hasn't had a single issue. Moving to the back here where the dirt is so thick you can't even see the carpet underneath and one of the things that makes me think the interior of this truck has never been cleaned is the fact that the carpet underneath the rear floor mats was in absolutely pristine condition which means they likely haven't been touched since the truck was new 
And as for the caked on dirt in the carpets, well, a little bit of agitating with the vacuum, then we can see what color the carpet is again. starting on the driver's footwell now. And without the floor mat in here, you can see just how much mud there is. It's a solid half an inch thick in spots. And even after sucking it up, the carpets are just stained brown and it'll be quite a challenge to get it looking good again. Here's a quick shot of where the truck started and after vacuuming, boom, it looks significantly better already. All right, well getting to work on cleaning these seats now and whenever I see stains like this, I'm always a little bit unsure of how easy they'll be to remove. But in this case, my green drill brush has no trouble getting it loosened up. So the Bissell can suck it away and it's almost hard to believe that in a matter of a few minutes, the seat looks brand new again.
Moving to the back seats, and you guys probably noticed in the opening shots that the previous owner had put black seat covers on all the seats, so with the new owner wanting them removed and thrown out, I wasn't sure what I was going to find under them. In my experience, when I've done vehicles with seat covers, the seats underneath are usually really heavily stained, but in this case, considering what the rest of the truck looked like, they aren't anywhere near as bad as they could have been. Okay, moving inside to the carpet now, and despite the fact that the carpet in here was completely trashed and covered in dirt, I'm very hopeful it's going to clean up good and look brand new again. Mostly due to it being a mid-grade carpet, the pile is longer and that makes it far easier to clean as it won't trap dirt the way that cheaper carpets do. working my way around the truck, and for those of you who might have some dirty or stained carpets or seats in your own vehicle, I'd highly recommend taking a look at the Bissell Spot Clean Professional Carpet Solution and Drill Brush I use, as all of these things can be bought for a very reasonable price, and you can get professional results on your own. The links to everything I use are listed down in the description for you, and as you've seen today, this combo can work magic on even the dirtiest carpets or seats. Here's the bucket and a half of absolutely disgusting and smelly water pulled from the truck today. Gross. Oh. 
Okay, now to tackle these filthy interior panels, I'm using some of my Detail Geek All-Purpose Cleaner, which comes with a handy dilution mixing bottle. And I've already mixed up a four to one dilution here, which is heavy strength, because looking at these doors, and yeah, I need all the help I can get today. So with it sprayed on, I'll start blasting it with steam. And I can tell you guys that steam alone wouldn't be able to touch this. The all-purpose cleaner is the key here and a chemical that I couldn't possibly detail without. Feel free to give it a look on my website at detailgeekautocare.com. It's sold as a concentrate, so one bottle is going to last a really long time, or you can also buy it by the gallon. And as you'll see in just a minute, it's an incredibly powerful cleaner that can easily handle the worst messes. working on the dash now and I wanted to quickly remind you guys that episode 6 of the studio build series is live over on the second channel, the Detail Geek 2. The concrete and grade beams are getting prepped for the floor coating which is really exciting to see. Be sure to head over there after this one to give it a look. Now for all the interior trim pieces I removed before vacuuming, I'm following the same process to get these clean, spraying on some APC and blasting them with steam, and it's truly incredible that after years of neglect and abuse, it only takes a minute to get them looking new again. Alright, with everything clean and the seats back in the truck, I'll get to work on dressing the interior. And for that, I use one of my favorite products, 303's Aerospace Protectant, which is going to revive any dull or faded plastic and leave it looking incredible for about four to six weeks. Okay, well one thing that can't be overlooked on this truck is the paint, and with it having been so dirty and neglected for so long, it's very likely there's contaminants embedded in the paint, so with some Detail Geek Quick Detailer acting as lubricant, 
I'll use some clay to get all of those removed, which will leave the paint perfectly clean and smooth and ready for a sealant to really make it pop. Now with some of my Detail Geek paint sealant in hand, I'll get to work on applying a thin layer to the entire truck, and the sealant will greatly boost the depth and gloss of this black paint, leaving behind a hydrophobic layer of protection that will last for about 6 months. Moving up to the windshield, and for those of you who struggle with getting this area clean and streak free, well the secret here is to use some of my glass cleaner coupled with my waffle weave towel, and after wiping the area down, I'll simply just flip my towel for the final wipe, leaving a perfectly clear finish behind every time. <laughs> looks awesome. Yeah. We have to look inside. That's where uh, it looks where awesome. most of the work was. <laughs> wow. Lots of food. Yeah. <laughs> Tons of food. You can yeah. actually see what color the carpets are now. <laughs> yeah. And it smells nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. It's looking good. Now probably I'm going to explain to my wife that I need a 
another winter track. <laughs> Need a beater for work. Yeah, yeah it's not the beater <laughs> this anymore. This <laughs> one's too good. Yeah, it looks ten times, ten times, hundred times better. Way better, better way better, yeah. I was guessing it's gonna turn out amazing. So I already picked up the taillights, headlights, and oh, yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, all nine yards. Yeah, well, it's like a new track now, so. Well, it does deserve it. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give you those and uh, enjoy. Thank you. All right. Okay, see ya. <laughs> All right guys, well a grueling 16 hours later and the truck has been revived and restored and it is looking truly incredible. Now I have to admit, when I saw the truck for the first time, I was a little bit worried and wasn't sure how it was gonna clean up, but boy does it look good now. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and go ahead and share with a family member or a friend and show them just how dirty that truck was when I started. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.